start with some medical history. Okay. So until about the late 1960s, early 1970s, doctors called it all von Recklinghausen disease and lumped it together and viewed it as a medical curiosity but didn't realise the extent of the problem. From the 1970s onwards, people began to specialise and focus their research on neurofibromatosis. Mm -hmm. So it then became clear that actually it's a group of conditions. It, it turns out that um, the NF1 gene and the gene for NF2 are quite distinct. Mm -hmm. And in fact, I think if we started again, the conditions wouldn't be together. Mm -hmm. NF2 is less common, it's about 1 in 33,000. And um, it uh, is more severe consistently. Unfortunately, the people with NF1 have an increased risk of a lot of different medical problems. The commonest is um, learning and behaviour. So at least 50% of the children would report struggling at school with um, fine coordination, their writing is difficult, they may have difficulty concentrating.